All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the Alex Pereira career run and what a turn of events in the last video. Christoph Jocko putting me to sleep in the third round, 20, 22 seconds of the third round with a TKO stoppage, ground and pound. After countering the left hook to the body with a lead right uppercut, I took a shitload of damage in that. He hit me from the open and bell, really, with that double jab straight combination and it just fucking escalated from there. So we're going to be looking to get that payback, but for now, unfortunately, we're booked against Joshua Johnson. Two and a half stars. What's your style? The art of fighting without fighting? Show me some of it. MMA style. Uh, MMA for Joshua. So we're going to be looking to bounce back here and hopefully secure that rematch with Jocko. All right, no fucking around. I'm going to get stuck into the camp and I'll see you back here when it's done. All right, that's the camp for Joshua Johnson done. 25 and 10 record. What's Yvonne saying? How bad is Alex Pereira? I think I could even beat him. Oh, look, Yvonne's a regular troll. She's popped up before, that dumb bitch. Fucking flapping her gums. All right, let's get these injuries fixed from courtesy of Jocko dishing out some fucking brutality in the last fucking video. All right, all up to date again. Right, let's get straight to the octagon. Let's, we need to bounce back here. Let's go. Our tail of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. It should be seen first. Fighting out of the blue corner, the doctor. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Alex Poetan Perea! All I can think about is this potential rematch with Jocko. I hope it gives it to us. You know, it just doesn't... Just let us cruise past now, and we, that's the last we hear from Jocko. Like, it'd just be weird for the game to do that. I know he's like way below us in the unranked, but I don't know if that actually means anything. I just don't. I, I don't know if the game just gives you people that are rel relatively close to you. I mean, obviously not, because he's like, you know, how far down, how far down the sort of the leaderboard he was. I do want to get it back. I can feel the difference in the AI already. This, this is way different compared to Jocko's AI. Also, I, I don't know if uh, just because we're getting into that golden age now of like 40 plus, like in the game, I'm not talking about me in real life. Like, I don't know if the chin deterioration is a, is a factor. Like, we got hurt, like, very quickly. In the last two fights, even Darren Till hit me pretty... pretty easily. Oh, I think that might... I don't know if that's the case or not. Oh, a couple of big head kicks. Like, So one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process. Oh, nice right straight to the body from Alex. Can't be thinking of Christoph the whole time. I've got nice old Joshua Johnson in front of me. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, and he caught the kick. Dropping his leg. There's that bullshit that Jocko was getting on me, that sort of touch block counter with that front kick to the body. And they separate after exiting the clinch. Oh, oh nice right straight down the middle. I think that Buster's nose. Three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Well, he rocked him, but he couldn't finish. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. He could not shut the lights off. And now, he has to try to find that shot again. And he caught the kick. Another straight's going in on that nose. Oh, nice 
nice jab to the head there by Pededa. Big power shot there. Just over oh, two that minutes was a nice now check. to go. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Alex Pereira gets caught and Ooh. it's another straight punch. He has had of course, no answer for the head kick going to the body there. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of Oof, for these fucking from his touch block counters here. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, Ooh, just missed with that low kick. Counters after blocking shots. And he continues to work the body here. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood start to flow down. Things to the body. That Got that leveled up now, by the way. To see what type of effect it's starting to take on him. Whether or not he's reaching forward. Whether this guy's throwing a lot of low kicks. We gotta start to watch his reactions now. So he might be on for another low kick stoppage here. So now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this. Keep kick going to deliver well nicely blocked though. Oh, there's that lead head, head kick. Right now, he seems lost to it. 15 seconds. Oh, nice uppercut from Alex. That Joshua went to the body with that double body shot combo. Nicely recognized there. It's about time we got something like that in. Got some good shots in. Totally different AI in this fight. Jocko's AI, completely different AI. Now looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cottonman will try to get in there and shut it. But of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. I think this might be the upper course. Oh, no, it's the right straight as he came in. Oh, a nice left up to the body as well. Got to be careful with that. That's sort of what I got finished with. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth. The block counter on the body shot. After the shit ton of damage that already taken on top of that. That put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Ready. Here we are, early round two. Well, well, his leg hard is check there. Compromised here early, starting to limp a little bit, and perhaps this affects his strategy as the fight continues. Yeah, you know, these guys are so tough. That when you oh, lovely combination there. That lead hook to the uh, lunge and lead hook right straight to the body, and then back up top with the left hook again. He's looking for that left hand. Another shot to his schnoz there. Ooh. Oh, strike attempt to the midsection. It's blocked. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Keeps going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Ooh, and he caught the kick. Left hook to the head. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. He looks like Pac-Man. He's taking so many strikes to the head. Oh, a bit too far out for the hook. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I got to protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. It has got to change something. Caught that kick there. I think he might have checked that calf kick there. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard DC and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Landed a solid punch there. Oh, there's the shoot. Oh, don't get mad, get even. Right? He got Just got the defense off. Earlier in the round, he's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. 
Good job he didn't throw that to the head. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, just gets that check up. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Leg kick checked effectively there by Pereira. Oh, went upstairs with the head kick this time. Took it well. When you play basketball, you're in the zone. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He is just out. Oh, that's a nice uppercut off that check blow kick. Oh, that's big. Defensive savant. He blocked that punch. Under two minutes to go. Switch kick lands. Left hand getting very active. Great punch. Block that kick to the body. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. Oh, there's the nose just gone. His nose is it's a bad now, sign. So we'll he's he starting to sort of get back into this a little bit with the striking. Deal about it here in the middle of this fight. Now he lands a solid punch. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the Ooh, nice left up there. Together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Oh, that's a nice low kick. Oh, thought he was going to commit to that shot. Oh, got to be careful going to the body like that. 30 seconds to go in round two. Push kick there to the body. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly... Oh, nice hurt. head movement there. Both guys are hurt. Little pull in the right straight counts it. Oh, right, uh, sorry, front kick to the body. Hits him. Gonna be the end of the second. Gotta be careful, lots of fatigue here. That nose of mine's already gone. See the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's gonna do much, and if it does. He can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. You ready to fight? Ready. Third Go. round underway. Well, he oh, look at that. Land a high number Quick. Of strikes here, just Straight like down the, the middle there. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, Oh, just stop me there. I was going to go for the front kick to the body. Oh, there's another lovely low kick. Execution on that team. Pineda's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Oh, look at that. Just avoided me lunging hook with the right straight to the body, Knight. What a beautiful jab landing there. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Oh, that head kick. Thought he was well, going he to the body. Completely gassed at this stage of the fight. I'm not sure if he's Oh, Ooh, hard right straight to the body. Well, he's able to get back. Oh, and a liver shot. Got to be careful here. 
going to the body. With punches like I don't want to get, I've got a feeling I'm going to get block countered. Oh, nice right straight and a, and a, a liver shot. Oh, there's a nice kick to the liver. Oh, lovely. There's that double body shot combination. And you're hugely vulnerable going for that. That's the time to fire the uppercut off. Needed that bit of a bounce back from getting finished in the last one. Bang, beautiful right uppercut there. Yeah, when you do that double lunge and body shot combo, you're just asking to get fucking smashed. That's why I never lunge in with body shots like that. I'm normally planted when it comes to body shots. Or punches, at least, anyway. All right, we now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 33 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alex Good stuff. Needed that bounce back, like I say. Couldn't, uh, couldn't afford it to be going back to back losses there. I just feel like, I don't know if this if that is a thing where you start to hit 40 and then your longevity starts to take a shit, even though we've got plenty of it left there. I just don't know if the age makes it deteriorate quicker. I feel like it might do. Paolo Costa still the champion? I can't believe that. Elliot Scripp said some bullshit. Yeah, Costa there. Fucking, it was Chimaev dethroning Adesanya and then Costa immediately dethroned Chimaev. You know who I want. I want a rematch with not Max Lamb. I'm going to turn that shit down. Hopefully we can get him. Um, what's his faith? Jocko. I can't see it happening now. I think he might get away with that. We've got Edmund Shabazi and I'm going to take it. I have to take it. No more declines. Four stars for Edmund. What's your style? The art of fighting without fighting? Show me some of it. Kickboxer for Shabazi and let's get that five week camp booked. And another rivalry. Where's Shabazi and her? Are we ever going to break into this fucking top 15? Fucking hell. Saying that, we've just lost. I've in, we're not far from removed from a loss, so. Maybe that's why, I don't know. I want that rematch. All right, let's get this uh, Let's get this camp started and I'll see you back here when it's over. All right, that's the camp for Edmund Shabazian. Complete a 13 and five record for Shabazian. Lindsay Skelly, it starts with two in a row. Alex Bahira, three then four, blah, blah, blah. Any injuries to fix? I feel like there's gotta be a couple. Oh, there's one. Alright, I'm gonna keep hold of all the points. Got a shitload in the bank there. Can't really do, do anything with them. Still can't get any moves unlocked because we're not in the top 15. Or any moves that I want at least anyway. Not on left to do, but to get to the cage. Alright, let's do it. I don't think I've fought Shabazian's AI, so this is going to be a new experience. So is Bruce for intros. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Edmund, the Golden Boy, Shabazian! You ready to fight? Ready? Right, ready to go for round one. That left glove, the glove touch still not working in that opening. 
Oh, there's Shibata. Here comes Shibazi. This particular showcase here tonight. Can he keep the momentum going and register another knockout? His fan base is swelling. Shibazi coming out, fucking like After a big fucking jock home, having knockout. flashbacks. Beautiful punch to the body. Oh, look at that. I was going to lunge in for that left hook. And I went straight into a takedown. He has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's going to have to take something on the way inside. Nice Oh, nice elbow from Shibazi from the top. But at least staying busy on the bottom. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Shabazian's pass is denied. Oh, another denial. Shades of Jocko all over again. Not going to bother trying to deny him off the two transitions. Just going to wait for the stand up. There it is, right on cue here. So he will go for shoots and take down, so I have to be mindful of that. No lunging. Oh, there's the front kick up the middle. Fast pace here in the early going. Oh, lovely head kick from Alex. Oh, Practicing that in trade and trying to get it leveled up a little bit. Oh, nice uppercut from Shibazi, though. Oh, big left hook there. Man, not sure if there was a gentleman's agreement for no feeling out there. I know, this is like shades of fucking Don Fry and Takayama. Like, gentleman's agreement backstage, just like Don Fry did back in the day. I love that story when it came to that fight. You know, that, that was a Pride, uh, was it Pride 23 or something like that, or Pride 21, I can't remember. And uh, the, it had been a pretty boring card up until that point. You know, the crowd was getting restless, and it takes a lot for the Japanese crowd to get restless. They're normally really patient. But uh, it was uh, pretty of a stinker, you know, evening. So Don Fry took the initiative and went up to Takayama backstage before their fight and made a gentleman's agreement with Takayama, saying, look, this crowd needs waking up. Let's fucking go at it. Let's go toe to toe. And Takayama being the fucking warrior that he is, fucking agreed to it. And that resulted in that historic fucking opening like 30 seconds. If you've never seen that, go and watch Don Fry versus Takayama. Incredible opening to a fight. But yeah, that's the rumor behind that. Don Fry and Takayama making an agreement. And Don Fry is supposedly, apparently, being high on Percocet as well, like for that fight. So all these like fascinating little uh, bits of trivia. Or urban nice legends surrounded some of the pride fights. Just over two minutes, round one. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to attack. Shabazi and AI is giving me some problems, like. Oh, nice job there, my It feels like the jock, similar AI right, to the jock coat fight. To raise the guard and protect his head. He's going to be careful going for that left up to the body if that's the case. I feel like the head kick might be the way to go here. Ooh, nice kick to the liver there from Shibazi. So some definite damage underneath the elbow. Be careful now with that left up to the body. That would have gone to the well too many times. Starting that up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one dimensional. Not head hunting inside the octagon. I, I think he is fucked beautifully right now. He's starting to show itself. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Shabazian's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, and another nice head kick from Alex. He's got to try to finish Trying to time that just as he's a... Uh, he's committed to an animation. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, I tried to uncork the overhand there after that jab to the body, but got him put red. Oh, nice 
punishing kick to the body. Round two next. Not a bad round. Got to be damaging. Buster's nose. You can just feel the difference in the AI sometimes when it's dialed up to the tits. It's like every time you do something, it's either evading it or it's blocking it and then pack, like snapping back at you. Like as soon as the block is, is up, it's like pack, you strike and then it strikes, you strike, it strikes. It kind of has this like little rhythm to it. That's like really noticeable. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. I mean, I don't think I'm going to be getting the Shabazz, uh, the, the Jocko rematch in this video, oh, if at all. I hope shot, we do. And then delivers the straight counter. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Oh, one, two, got to Shabazzi in there. Oh, was going to flash the uppercut there, but I hesitated and I paid for it. Shabazzian's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Couple of fakes. Wow, all things considered, pretty good shot from bottom position. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Oh, passes and he's straight into the full mount. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground. Oh, he's going for the arm bar. Shabazzian's trying to lock Shit, he might get this. Oh, he's faking it. Look at all the pressure on the arm. Oh, and now he gives up on the Takes submission. the back. So now he's gonna find himself in a little more danger. Now he's gonna transition back to the mount. Shabazzian's right back to the full mount. He needs to try to get to a half guard at least. At minimum. Trying to get that to half guard back. There we go. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Get your full guard back, Alex. Good lad. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. And back to the half guard again. He's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Oh, crowd. Oh, and he wants it up. As the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the field. Oh, beautiful. Got him with the uppercuts as he came in, and then the left hook after it. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Shabazzian's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that old Fucking ain't that shit. As he raises the goal. All right, so a little wealth there starting to develop on the side of his body. A lot of strikes landing in that area tonight. I mean, he's got to do something. You cannot continue to ignore that you're getting hit. Oh, got cracked with the left up there as he tried that spin you bullshit. Address it now before we get to a point where you can't continue to fight. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. Nice head movement there. Let's get out of the way of that straight. The shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. But Ada's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the bridge. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Oh, got caught with the hook there, though. That trade off wasn't good. Oh, vicious right straight down the middle lands. He's recovered, though. I mean, look at the blocking, fucking hell. Oh, nice elbow there. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes. In this oh, nice three-punch combo there from Alex. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Oh, thought he was going low there. But he gets a little bit anxious, so he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing and by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. 
Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly Ooh. what he has done. Well, he was done with this combination there. He was going to knee his body. But a strike attempt there is blocked. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, that body shot hurt him. Going back to the body work now. Left hand counter there. Seconds winding down in round two. Ten minutes in the book. The end of the second. Jabazia starts to get tired. The end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The John, the bridge of the nose. Anik on form. Potentially prevent it from Never fails to miss the cut on the nose. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth. But the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready? You ready? Go. Here we go. Now five minutes remain in the fight. Oh, nice just fell right short with that lunge and left up. I got cracked with a counter on the way in. Continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Missed with that right hand. Is from that cut strike landed and he right straight and then that left hook to the body lands you know, after it. We are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your Ooh, head flashing the uppercut there with Shabazi. Too much damage to that cut. Well, as we pull up the numbers there, bottom of your screen, the body strikes really tell the story in this one. That was a big focus for his camp coming in, and he has certainly worked that midsection to great effect here tonight. Nice crack there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, he better start oh and again, it gets cracked with it. Oh, I was just about to say it left up, but I get caught with an uppercut. There's a nice uppercut from Shibazi in there. Oh, but he just walks onto a right straight. That fatigued hook that he tried there. And he just walked straight down the middle into a straight. Or he, he got hit with a, a straight coming straight down the middle to the sec. Lovely knockout from Alex. Well, another highlight for the real DC is oh, the God fucking hell. Yeah, but the whole fight just on the outside of that hook. Oh, just missed it as well. Just stood me ground there and just hoped that it was going to miss. Bang. Nice right straight down the middle. Was going for that liver as well. Oh, look at his left shoulder all went all fucked up there. Did you see that? Like fucking dislocated the shoulder. Give me that rematch with Jocko. I fucking want it. Give me it. At one minute, 18 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by knockout, Alex Poetra! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce. Here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you Get the win. Good stuff, Alex. Not too bad on the longevity, only 1.6. A bullshit contract to sign. Medium hype or higher, we don't really fuck around with hype anymore. KO and TKO three times, that's what we're looking at doing. Try and go for that one. Still unranked. Hopefully, we could still get this uh, chance to avenge this loss. Alex, but here's the real deal. Amazing fight tonight. I think Alex could jump into a boxing ring tomorrow and win the title, says somebody.
Right, the only person I want is Jocko, and it's definitely not Clay Erickson. He can fuck off. Four stars, though. Maybe I should have took that. I don't know. I should have took it, probably. Oh, Amari Ahmedov. I was hoping to at least get this fight because we, uh, we, we declined it at one point, but I have to take it. Three and a half stars. What's your style? The art of fighting without fighting? Show me some of it. A boxer style. But Omari, let's get that signed. No rematch with Jocko in this video. I, I wasn't expecting it. It's, I, I don't even think we'll get it. I don't know. I just don't think we'll get it. It's just like a look of the draw, really. I mean, who's to say if we get it or not? If we don't, we don't. But I'd like to get it. In, being interested in the storyline. I might just have to let it go. All right. Let's get stuck into this camp then. How long have I got? Five weeks. All right, I'll see you when it's over. All right, so that's the camp complete for a 26-9-1 Omari Ahmedov. Woody Barrios. Hey, Alex Pajera, who got you so mean, says Woody. Any injuries to take care of? Look good. Hang on to all these points that I'm swimming in. I'm sure we'll have to dip into them at some point when we start getting some injuries every fight. All right. No messing around. Let's get straight to the cage for Omari Ahmedov. Our tail of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. Life begins at 40 for the both of us. It's <laughs> Bruce Fear introductions. Middleweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Amari Wolverine Akhmedov. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, ready to go for round one. As many of you know, this young man won his last fight by knockout. No so, Akhmedov's another AI who have not gone up against yet. So this is all. It's going to be a learning experience again. He's got a weird looking body, like, any <laughs> Under the weird body type. When the challenges have gotten tougher, he has raised his game. That is exactly the goal in front of him tonight. Now he gets a more dominant position. Oh, fucking took my finger off the trigger there. I didn't think he was going to go for a throw. Ronda Rousey did this for a long time. I can't afford to take shots this early in the fight like that from side mount. This young man is very well versed in this position. And he has a lot of oh, tricks trying to take the back. To you to put yourself exactly where he needs you. Well, he's got his back now. This is a bad start. Oh, Rolling through for the armbar. Oh, he's got the arm in tight. But Ada getting absolutely worked from the I'm not going to be able to get out. The ground game is terrible. He's flipping through. Going to take the back. Oh, now he bails on the submission. I don't know these positions at all. I'm going to take the mount again. This is a terrible start. You have to be so well rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. Get that half guard back, Alex. You gotta be able to change it up if you find Step it over into the mount again. He's, right now. He's gotta be careful here. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there Ooh. by Akhmedov. Need us to get that half guard back. Off his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets get through. Full guard back. Oh, he denies it. This is not good. Well, pretty good work off at the bottom here by Pedeta. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't. Trying to get a double. Good job. There we go. Finally, get the full guard back. Oh, beautiful elbows there. Ground and pound the hammer, Mark Coleman would be proud. Sounds like just someone oh, asked for a hand job. <laughs> fucking Coleman said fucking hand job. I know he said get those hands up. Hey, probably going to be coming in soon. Seen enough of this shit. Oh, look at that by Alex. Nice head movement. 
take the back back to the feet again now we can reset after that terrible start to land that big damage Akhmedov gets caught by that straight punch can't take too many more of those He's got oh just block counsel to me he's going for that overhand just over two minutes to go in round one Ooh, hard knee to the body but Omari comes in with a combination under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover. Oh, went for that uppercut to the body, got cracked with an elbow. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to knock his head on the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, big uppercut on the left hook at the end of it. Rocks Omari. Oh, vicious knee. Tried to throw a front kick, but he closed the distance and it changed the animation. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, again, he shoots for a takedown here and unable to get it. So the takedown defense reigns supreme yet again. The takedown defense is holding up, Johnny. Doing a great job. Oh, fourth to throw the head kick out there. He was getting aggressive. Trying to stay in this fight. Oh, and another beautiful combination coming out of that clinch. That left up it. Right straight left up combination. Go for it again. Ooh, landed two of them. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body. He hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. Oh, there it is again. Oh, this could just about do it. Oh, it's too short there. Playing with fire, doing that shit. Oh, Trying to get that. that. The action of uh, that, right, so that the, the dash round. down, so I can input the the left Somebody's hook a lot quicker. But it's taking a bit of getting used to. Both got to each other in that first round. Omari oh, having that ground really control early. The oh, there's that knee to the body, but Alex getting caught with a beautiful right uppercut, left hook combination. Look like they wanted to take a step back. This is the exact type of fight. Oof, and then returning the favor with the right uppercut, left hook. Right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed. Oh, flush head kick lands. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting over and over to the head. Ready. Eventually, he found Ready. the one that really did damage his opponent. Second round here. Do you believe it? This next round is underway. The previous round, both fighters got rocked. Crowd came in bananas. Big opportunity for both fighters. These are the type of fights that makes it so we cut him there with that lunge and left. Kick to the body. He just tanks through it though. Lands a two shot combination. Oh God, we both traded there. I think I came off the worst. Oh, that left head kick. Questionable hitbox on that, I must say. Looked like it was just out of range to me. Nice land with that punch. Clearly taking advantage of his big edge and reach. Well, he's Oof, that's a nice upper cut. Oh, and right straight. Oh, down the middle lands for Alex, but he gets caught in the process. Akhmedov's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, hard knee to the face. Oh, should the block counter them? Grenada's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. There's one. Oh, beautiful left hook from Alex. Not playing that game. And back to his feet. Oh, and an easy takedown for Omari there. Striking pretty well from the bottom here. Akhmedov's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his more tight gun time. You know, why change it? It's working. Oh, takes the half guard. Looking to step over into the mount, and he does. I thought he denied that. 
Looking for that arm, he might get it. Oh, denied by Alex. Trying to recover the half guard though. Oh man, another ground strike gets through. It's going to be Motrin in the morning. The swelling starting to appear. Oh, he got to his spot. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Oh, denying those transitions, that's not good. Many people have fallen away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Looking for the arm again. He might get it. Oh, no, he doesn't. Doing a good job of keeping that mount. Oof, and a nice elbow lands. Get that half guard back good. just. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. He got on four ounce gloves. Take this dude down. Don't box him. He's too good at it. Alex Pineda getting touched here repeatedly with these ground and pound strikes from the top. Referee's not going to bail you out. Slicing and dicing. Looking good with these elbows. Trying to open him up a bit more. Looks like a Michelin star chef trying to slice and dice the kitchen the way he's tearing his opponent up. Oh, and another denial on the ghetto. I don't think we've got the ground game to be uh, pulling off get ups like that. Going to take them out again. This is terrible. Yes. We knew this would be the oh, and he's going for a triangle. This is bad. Flips over into the mouth. Thought he should have gone for the finish there. I'm going to end up getting tired if I keep trying to get out, but just sitting here taking these punches is not good. He's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking that damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head. Looking for the arm. Cannot be straight on the center line. That center line, you've got to get off of it. You cannot go forward without moving your head. There we go. Got the half guard. Only 30 He's seconds to go with the round. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. What a good turnaround from Omari, getting the back end of this round in the bag, really. Bottom position. Drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground. Tried for the get up. There's no, no point in trying now. It's only 10 seconds to go in the round. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Let's just start fresh in the next round. He had me on lockdown there. Couldn't do shit. Off of your back, but he's effective here. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But of course, Oof, that was that beautiful block that counter that drops round, him. Oh, it dropped him hard. I did try and fly in there to finish him or try and get some shots in, but probably for the best that I didn't. Don't want to go on the ground with him. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot. He kept flying forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough to that your chin is. Ready. Third round underway. Oh, there it is again. Right at the start of the round, he takes a big shot there. And he blocks the shot there. Oh, look at that beautiful throw straight into the side saddle. Wasn't expecting that at all. This is not where I wanted to be. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. He's going to see what he does from here. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Can't afford to be on the ground here with him. Oh, beautiful scramble from Alex. It's a chance to get up. Oh, 
Oh, there's another vicious block count. I'm trying to fly into the guard there, but again, it's probably for the best that I don't. Oh, and another one. Surely that's got to be it. Is pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got a good job of getting this full guard back out here for too long. If you're his opponent, gets back up. and there it is. He went to it one too many times, he was waiting for it that time. With a massive highlight at the garden, oh, it was shaky there for that. For that, um, final round there, I felt that every time I was hitting him, it was making him go for the, for the takedown even more. And I thought I can't afford to be on me back there. Get that brutal block counter left hook in. Oh, look at the elbow going all funny there on the animation. It's like a little bitch slap fucking shot. Oh, he just fucking DDT'd himself on the canvas as well on the way down. And here once more with the official. Just as well that eye was coming up a little bit as well. Bloodshot eye looks like Alec has been smoking a couple of joints. <laughs> a bit of a red eye going on. Of round number three. The winner by Give me the fucking rematch with Jocko. I want it. What do we have to do to get it? I don't think. I'll have to just assume that it's not going to come. I don't want to get. I don't want to get fixated on it because uh, I just can't see it happening. Performance of the night, fight of the night. Taking all those fucking bonuses on. Oh great, some shitty fucking bullshit star rainbow gloves that I'll fucking never use. What a shit item that is, fucking hell. A complete waste of the developer's time that someone's had to like design that and put it in the game. What a waste of time. Why don't they give us the option to have the WEC gloves? Oh, look who it is. Yes, I'm so made up. We've got this. I was kind of trying to bait the game a little bit. Then I was like, oh, I don't think I'm going to get the rematch. I don't. It's not going to happen. It's not, and then trying to reverse psychology the game. Obviously, I had no say in whether it was going to give me in, but we've got the rematch. It's on. Let's get this fucking signed for the next video. Five week camp to prepare for the Terminator. You absolutely fucking slapped me around in the last fight. Sets it up for a good beginning to the next video. Yes, I'm so fucking relieved. If we, if it may never beats me twice, fair dues. He's got me number. You know what I mean? Two losses to him. But uh, I'm not going to try. I'm not going to let it happen. We got high hype for that. I think for the first time in the career, high hype. Right, I'm pumped. Can't wait for that rematch. So don't, don't forget, we got UFC 301 coming up this weekend. It's uh, Alejandro Pantoja and Steve Ersig. It's going to be a good one. I hope it. Uh, I hope it's going to be a good card overall. I think I'm going to go with Ersig. I think he might pull off the upset. I don't know. I can just see it happening. But Pantoja's a dog, like you know what I mean. He's got that dog in him. But uh, it's going to be a good one. Can't wait. I hope you'd enjoy it if you watch it. And uh, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.